Sick, dude. PRL sakes coming from my mic, dude. King of podcasts. <laughs> you hear that on the fucking man saying sick of podcasts. It's not a secret no more now that I'm here. Now you guys are on the map. Ooh. Yeah, you are our third pick today. We two had two dropped out. <laughs> and uh, I was like, holy shit, we never had Lewis on the podcast. You don't have to say that. You don't have to tell me you're the third pick. <laughs> you just let me go on feeling good. Do you not know how to get the best out of somebody on a podcast? Let me give you a podcast. I'm going to give you guys podcasting lessons. Matt and Shane, ladies and gentlemen, it's Man, time for I'm so excited school. for your sponsors to leave and your <laughs> shitty studio to fail, dude. You and you'll come happen? crawling, you don't think they're, crawling, they're slithering to come work at fucking Chat Nation, dude. You don't think Chat they're, Digital you don't think they're is thriving? In yeah, nobody's, no, on the, nobody's on the dole at Chat Digital, dude. Everyone pulls their own weight. There's not even any money transferred. It's a, it's a future company. It's fucking, it's just a, it's just whatever the next thing after bitcoin is it's just after this is a company for after currency it just isn't a thing we're just a conglomerate that just don't you know our finances are just all conjoined in like a weird way yeah not via any kind of wallet or currency it's unbelievable it's a better way it's it's unbelievable it's unbelievable what we built it's a better way well look here here's the thing i'd, I'd like to learn from you guys about finance and future finance and um, i'll teach you guys about podcasting together we can maybe change the world so I was, I was checking my Robin Hood app. My stocks are up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Shane, dude. how are you, dude? I missed you. I know. I missed you, too. I'm doing all right. I, uh, Yeah, I'm good. How's she going out there? Everything's good, man. It's, it's really nice out here. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, it still sucks no matter where you are. Yeah. Like, if I I'm here. Like, I, don't, I, I don't know what's... I, I'm assuming Stan Hope's like pretty rich, but I, there's no way he has a nice home. It's impossible. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is to, nice. Oh, really? It's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I feel nice. like he spends his money on like you know like lawn ornaments. That's actually exactly right. There's nice lawn ornaments. <laughs> There's like cool lawn lawn ornaments. So that's keeping me afloat. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I bet he has a dope ass lawn ornament collection. His, so he has like a main house, there's a guest house, and then a like a bar ornament house. And then and then a trailer, like a camper that's fucking nice. But yeah, the in between in between all of it is uh lawn ornaments. It's tight. It's good to be set up for having people just like randomly come stay with you for undisclosed yeah. amounts of time. Just be like, Yeah, come chill. That's that's yeah, how your house should be. No set. issue. That's what's up. How do you feel yeah, about yeah. that, Lewis? Um <laughs> having friendship yeah i would love it nice It'd be great just how blazed do you, you have any friends it's 420 obviously i'm blazed. how, four, how 420 blazed are you dude i've been smoking all fucking day dude i'm a fucking counterculture hero do you hear what rogan said about me <laughs> what do you say you know do you didn't, are you kidding me what do you say you're gonna roll in blunts or something are you kidding that was him being did racist you, dude he was did making you just a racist guess that? <laughs> did you guess that or you know that no i saw the clip i saw the fucking clip yeah damn right you saw that fucking clip i was about to share my screen I have the ability to do that. Do you guys know that? I mean, yes. Let me sit in. Boy, take your name. Let me explain you something about podcasting videos. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a fucking dipshit, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're the oil companies. We're Tesla, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're the oil company, man. You guys are dinosaurs, bro. But you're the, Tesla, yeah. the band. We're Tesla, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. We're the future. I'm sorry. You're, you're, your time's up. You guys had a good run. <laughs> We're yeah. just going to recruit Big J and bankrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I fucking, I would love to. If we could shut this business down right now, oh, give me the opportunity. Really? Can we buy you out, please? We'll buy gas. <laughs> Now's the time. You could easily buy, right now, you could buy gas digital. How much you want? Damn. He's going to lie and give a crazy number here and then off air be like, 10 G's. <laughs> oh, I was going to say $800. Oh, done. I was gonna I'm going to buy and fire everybody. Just use a studio. You're going to buy it just to burn it down? <laughs> you want the studio? Nah. No, the so studio. what's going on? Lewis, you're blazed because it's 420, right? That's pretty sick. I, well, dude, I mean, come on, man. I've been fucking... I am a counterculture legend at this point. When when Joe when did, Rogan, you, when did you learn Joe the Rogan's word counterculture? When this week <laughs> did you learn counterculture that you're fucking trying it out? <laughs> I can't believe you, it out, I can't baby. believe you caught off Skankfest, dude. I thought you guys were gonna stay true to that and just do it anyway. Yeah, I wish. I really I I tried. It. They're opening uh, is in uh, Texas open back this week though. Texas yeah, go. back. You guys should do it this week. Wouldn't you? You know, 
If you guys were real, you guys would do. Dude, if I was real, yeah, I'd like, dude, we skank ass. fest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, you're looking good, though, dude. You look jacked. Oh, you yeah. like my fucking shoulders, doggy? Yeah, You want to know why? Because I'm eating at home. I'm not going out. When you go out and about and you, you just fucking make worse choices, because even when you yeah, eat shitty at dude. home, it's better than eating shitty out. True. I ordered out today, and they sent me somebody else's food included in my order it was like the best thing that's ever happened to me in a long time oh, it was extra f- oh that i i was gonna yeah, say that's up. the worst thing ever no they sent me my meal and then somebody else just ordered to happen to order dessert i got that too <laughs> i got somebody's dessert Damn, what meal. was the dessert you had a sweet <laughs> it was treat a banana whip yeah it was a banana whip with oh, it was like a nice. irish potato banana whip it was oh so good <sighs> so so good that i i was that's probably the happiest I've been in a long time, just eating somebody else's dessert and just being like, man, they're probably so fucking mad right now. Oh, yeah, furious. that's nice. Somebody's it's like pr- furious. If, if somebody like me, like he's calling, threatening, <laughs> yeah. threatening the life of the, the delivery oh, driver. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will find him. Send him back, motherfucker. That's a problem. I can't control my anger when I call up to complain about something like that, so they never send them back. Like, you can't just say, like, I, I should call them up friendly. Like, yeah, they forgot my whip, banana whip. But yeah, I would love, you know. Was, but I call back, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, forget my whip. That's right, bitch. Send it back now. And then it never comes. Of course not. Why, Why? yeah, why do you go so hard on these people? Yeah, it's 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 bothered me ever since I've met you. But, I mean, I, know, I love I almost everything also, about you. You act like that defines me. You know, that's one part of me. It's that's a you, pretty you know, major thing. Like, if I was you out. A, you know, when you make a delicious cake, not every ingredient is delicious. You know, if you just took a. a, yes, a it, yes, definitely. A su- no, that's yeah, not true. What are you talking about? Every single time is a deli- cake. You it's never just put a anything turd on. in the middle. <laughs> every ingredient. <laughs> if you took a swig of vanilla extract right now, you'd be like, wow, that's a bit extreme. That's not good. Oh, you mean the ingredients before the cake? Yes, before Yeah, the you're a bag of flour, dude. You yeah, stick. Yeah, here's an egg. What are you, fucking Rocky Balboa, dickhead? Okay, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. You're like a spoonful of, of, like spoon of flour like an asshole? I don't think so. <laughs> that's, that's true. Sometimes you've got to throw in a so bad-tasting ingredient. Some traits are bags of flour. That's true. Sometimes, oh. <laughs> Shut up, dude. What do you think about that? Shane, you look handsome, dude. What are you talking about? This, is, this was a uh, you look, you look a handsome. mistake. Oh my fucking god! What the hell is that? <laughs> it was a mistake, Lewis. I think you look. Handsome. Are you checking your phone, dude? No, uh, I'm not good at references, so I was looking up a reference to make. Oh, uh, Mimsy from South Park is the number one. No, I was gonna. All right, I'll just tell you what it is because now you've called me out on it. Um, the, who Damn, you were the, Googling references on a podcast, yeah, Google, dude. Google, you suck. Fucking God, Google you references. suck. <laughs> you Google references dude, on they, shows. Mostly, oh, It's like 90% audio <laughs> listeners. They could have just let me fucking hack. It could have sounded like I'm awesome, dude. So you have like a tertiary <laughs> cortex. You use the internet as your brain. I have two writers <laughs> sitting here sending me things to say. <laughs> Tell them about the cake. <laughs> Whoever that was, fire them. Dude. <laughs> what was that Harrington? <laughs> the old uh, bad taste ingredient cake analogy. You know, like the cake, how they have vanilla extract doesn't taste delicious. <laughs> was that James? Was that your fucking child? <laughs> You're like, nice one, James. That's a pretty good idea. Fine if I use that. The apple didn't fall far, whatever the rest is. I don't know. James, <laughs> Google it. You write that? <laughs> yeah, dude, I Google things sometimes. And then I act like, then, I, then what I'll do is people, if you listen to me podcast, here's what happened. Well, the moment will pass, but I've learned through years of podcasting. Like, oh, silly <laughs> to timing. trick them back so into I'll, the conversation. I'll, just, I'll bring it back. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you suck! It's so no, dude, funny. I'm fucking. I'm a professional podcast. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Really funny. I'm sorry that I'm fucking letting people know the way the sausage is made right now. Well, you got caught. You got caught making the sausage. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, hold on. Tell me what the reference you were going to Google and what search you were going to type in. Like, I just, I just love how guy you, shaved head or something. I love how you'll have one joke in your head for like seven minutes of a podcast and try to bring it to it. <laughs> yes. Oh, this makes you so it's happy. Being a dude. professional, okay? <laughs> People out there think it's all just fucking zigs and zags and zips and zaps. <laughs> No, man, there's some thought put into this. Okay? <laughs> this is <a> research. <laughs> I have a joke now. Steer the conversation back to a joke. <laughs> um, no, I was going to say, who is, the but fe- strategy. 
Go ahead. Who's a female comedian that was staying with San Hope before you? Oh, uh, Olivia. Yes, Olivia. Yeah. Whatever. What's her last name again? She's very funny. Olivia Grace, yeah. Yeah, I'm just fucking high as shit. Dude. Olivia Grace, very funny comedian. But I was going to say, what does Stan Hope make everyone get that haircut? Yeah, she does. She, she got a fucking totally shaved head. I had long hair on the sides, and we were shit-faced. And I Whoa. was like, me and Stan Hope. Dude, Stan Hope, he, he cut your hair? <laughs> well, one of his... One of his <laughs> no, no, no. Yo, Stan Hope is bullying Shane, dude. <laughs> Stan, no, he's not. Stan, he MK Ultra Shane. He gave him antipsychotics. Dude. That was true. He did drug me. Shane got MK Ultra. He, him. he was like, "Yo, <laughs> Britney Spears." He was like, "He was like, yo, it's a sleeping pill." I took it. It was like it was an antipsychotic, dude. And I think it was 150 milligrams. It was so much. <laughs> he like changed me as a person. <laughs> <laughs> he just makes you dance in the game. It's like, Shane, take your shirt off. Dude, he's there. Therefore, like, you never see like a guy walking down the street and be like, I don't want no motherfucker. It's like, therefore, yeah. that guy. So, like, to get him in and make him sleep for 72 uh, hours. I, that's good, though. I silenced that voice for a minute. <laughs> I had that for, for like 24 hours. I was like, maybe I'm not gay. Do your hair dude, it was waking up. Dude, waking up with this haircut. I was, I've spent the last. 36 hours or however long i've had this uh just every day i wake up just like oh i'm silly is that it i'm a goofy guy now with a cool like a goofy haircut like i art. do hair yeah i i uh you gotta get a pair of like silly socks and like suspenders <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know, I, like, so without, like socks with like pizza slices on them oh fuck. whoa dude <laughs> you actually <laughs> dude yeah, your hair is fucking this terrible. I'm not hating. I know, I know, I know, no, it does suck, and uh, I'm just, uh, I gotta do something. But then what happened? We do, we shaved like around the ear, this part. <laughs> Look at that hair. Can I? Can you go? Can we see the back of it? No, I can't. I can't. The back. Please, please see the back. The front's the show part, dude. Please, please can we see front the back don't look of bad. It? The front, dude. Oh. No, the front's bad, dude. Looks. What's the? Why is it like? It looks ridiculous. Swapped there and that side. Like, why is it like? Look. It's it's there, there's no I was wearing that fucking hat, cool. bro. I think it looks kind of cool right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, thanks, Matt. That's because you're a good Matt friend. Has the greatest hair ever. I'm still laughing at how an off-label use of Seroquel you're saying is like makes you not feel gay. That's a yeah, sick was, pharmaceutical yeah, commercial, dude. I used to feel gay as hell, dude. I used yeah, to be dude, so I, fucking gay. I beat the shit out of myself for every single thing I did. <laughs> Try Seroquel, dude. <laughs> you're not that fucking gay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to wear the same three shirts every day. You can try a new shirt, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, is that what the Seracle did? New fashion. Yeah, I, was, I, that's, I got a haircut. And, uh, oh, if I could have bought cool clothes, I would have. Really? Yeah, it would have been cool. So you had a 72-hour period where you, you were just like... I just had a... No, it was, 20, it was 24 hours. It yeah. was... I took it at night. Dude, we were like drinking like white Russians. And I took one on top of that. So I had like milk and milk vodka and Seroquel in me. I was just like, <laughs> and you almost woke up in Jack Threads, dude. <laughs> yeah, I almost got sick gear. Oh man, that's so funny, dude. It just it just passed, guys, two weeks ago. See, how old you turned? Thirty-eight. Nice. Thirty-eight years old. Basically it is cool. old as it is old as shit, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's a com. That's, that's a comedy. Uh, Sixty years old. It's pretty. Yeah, I mean thinking about it my sister's 40 i mean i think my mom died when she was like 42 or 43 how long was she doing heroin um like she, she was like a kid oh run. well then that's a hell of a run for a heroin you, well no she fucking... stopped for years she stopped for years oh she took a break well not really you know she okay so she was doing methadone and um swag yeah. and methadone fucks you up dude yeah it fucks your bones up <laughs> it's like yeah it fucks does your it fuck up. your bones up yeah it fucks your bones up i was gonna say my mom had shit bones yep methadone it's... fucks your bones up seriously why how do you know that was she breaking things a lot um yeah she was like uh <laughs> falling off her she was like, like mr glass yeah, she was yeah mr. there glass, you go <laughs> just mr just like I broke my arm. <laughs> she would punch me in the face and she would shatter her hand on my face. Damn, that's because you're jacked, though. True. 
That's true. Most people would. True. If somebody punched Shane in his face, I mean, their whole arm would shatter. Your your bones are so thick in your face, Shane. <laughs> what do you think? No, it's just a fat face. Dude. Yeah, it's not fat. The it's bones bone, are dude. far. It's all bone. You think my, you think my head is just a bone? Yeah, a bone head? Fucking bone, you call dude. me a bone head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're a bone head. That's where the term came from. <laughs> This is exactly how it happened. Some dude was dude, like, bro, oh, your face isn't fat, it's a bone. I love, I love getting this, bone head. I love getting this direct uh, line into Lewis's consciousness. Like, Shane's head looks strong. <laughs> His head looks very strong. It's hard to punch. It's true. He's dumb. Books are dumb. <laughs> no, books aren't dumb. They're unpowerful, dude. <laughs> unpowerful. Oh fuck, man! So yeah, she made it till about four. So she she hit the methadone for a while, probably partied on a little bit of Xanax. No, she was just doing methadone at night, dude. And she hmm. it was these little orange, um, bottles, and she would fucking slip them down, and then go into her herself. bedroom, and she'd fall asleep with cigarettes, and fuck. burn her bed. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. So she, I, I can't give her credit. It's like when people say they're sober, but they still smoke weed. True. Do you remember her not like that? No, there Did was you... never a time where my mom was not on heroin or methadone since I've been alive. Really? Well, now. That's actually a great point. Because <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> she's fucking dead as shit. But yeah, did, when, you, when you were a kid, you probably loved her. You didn't know. When you were young, did you like her? Um. <clears throat> now you just took a hit of the bong. Let's talk about your mother. <laughs> Uh, did I like my mom? <laughs> Just when you're when you're a little kid, you have to. When, I'm a li- when I was a little little kid, I did, but yeah, I, I realized very quickly that my mom sucked. Ah, damn, that sucks. See, most most guys, you gotta wait until you're like in your 30s to be like, damn, dude, I think my mom's a retard. No, no, no. I could tell my mom. You was noticed a it right very away. Quickly, my yeah, my mom was like, you know, on welfare, like food stamps, like. But I've always been a conservative white guy. Like, as a kid, I remember just, like, really looking down my nose at my mom being like, get a job. Yeah, that's so <laughs> sick, dude. You are a, you're a Puerto Rican conservative, dude. That's the really second judged, coolest thing. Dude, I judged the fuck out of my mom for not working. But I was like, what are you doing? You're just lying in bed, taking government money? You know, somebody's got to pay. Somebody's got to pay for that. Dude, if you, you would have had my mom, you would have been like the president. If I would have had your mom, I would have been in that bed, dude, every day. <laughs> <Fucking> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> just me and her would have just been slugs, dude. She's fucking 69. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't going to fuck her. I was just <laughs> just call myself lazy, dude. I would have hopped in there. I'd be like, this is what we do? All right. It's a good family. Yeah, no, no, Taking no. naps? Um, my mom had no – she was very okay with lying down and not working. Yeah, she's taking siestas. No, so <laughs> a lot of siestas. <laughs> a lot mom. of siestas. Yeah, my, my, my mom was white. You know I'm half white, right? Wait, your mom's white? Do you not know that I'm half white, Shane? I mean, I knew you were half white. I, I guess I always – You was just yeah, I guess because married a weird no. Puerto Rican lady? No, I guess your dad Isn't got that weird when you see that? You see a white guy with like a fucking Puerto Rican lady? You're like, what are you? You're fucking maid? Relax. <laughs> your dad died in a knife fight. He's definitely yeah, yeah. Puerto Rican. <laughs> he was a fucking in a briefcase? No. <laughs> it's a Puerto Damn, you're biracial. That's fucking sick. Wait, aren't you triracial? Uh, is Please, you're black too. Aren't you black too? I'm Afro-Puerto no. Rican. What's no, that? he's not. Oh, so I'm you're just Puerto Rican. You're just white and Puerto Rican. So you're Italian. But I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm black Puerto Rican. If you look up in Puerto Rico, on the island of Puerto you, Rico. Matt, hold on, hold on. Matt, did you have that joke and you were just sucking them in? Or did it no, come that's just, I mean, anytime, <laughs> you, hear any, anytime you hear any weird mix, it's just, oh, that's Italian. And it's just instant smash. But white and Puerto Rican, <laughs> definitely guaranteed Italian. smash. Dude. <laughs> you like black and Polish? Oh, what are you, you mean Italian then? <laughs> what are you, a wop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on uh, Puerto Rico, there's, there's uh, like European. Um, uh, you know, settlers, and then there's African settlers. Well, um, they weren't really settlers. Yeah. Um, and I, my my family came from the African side. That's why I have this big fucking flat nose. Look at that shit. Jesus, dude. I can do that too, bro. Um, wait, what? What type of white were you? Uh, Italian Irish. You Italian? Go. Yeah, dude. Ew. 
<laughs> She's probably one of the Italians. First of all, what are you? You're a fucking, you're Irish, dude. You're Irish. Irish is the, the literal no, absolute. No, just fucking, it goes. Italians the, are worse. Yeah, for Italians sure. Italians are the worst. Polacks are second worst. Yep. Flavorless gum. Probably cultures. French. Probably yeah, French third. Yep. And then Irish. Actually, Irish are better than British, dude. British Big suck. Time. We're the most British spiritual. Might, yeah, yeah, we're the most spiritual. We're quick. We're good with words, dude. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it's great. That's dancers. why we're not googling. Exactly. Hey, man, I'm sorry. For if you googled, you'd think about how much better you'd be. You're not using all the tools that are afforded to you at any given moment. First of all, in the future, we're gonna have Google go. and, and a fucking microchip <laughs> in our eyeball, yeah. and you're gonna be able to just go. And then fucking Google whatever you want. So I'm just ahead of the curve, dickhead. If you were like this, what do you think the, fir- what do you think the first thing would be to pop in your head when you Google? <laughs> it would be your, your history. Be like, oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Erase history. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I got to go into incognito. Oh, man. That's going to be hot, dude. Man. We can just jerk off. That's the future. Right we there. Just, just, stand, just, just walking around staring at porn, looking at people. <laughs> <Huh>? We can <laughs> just, just be on a train. <laughs> you ever see Bewitch when she's like, just watch porn? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's going to be life. So you're not going to do that? You're not going to... What? No, I'm not going to be able to Google you're jokes not gonna through my eye. Eye. Google? You're I'm not, not going to Google just, my not gonna eye references? jokes. By the way, I don't think be hilarious. Everyone's gonna have top-notch references in the future, dude. What, Lewis, no, you got to know where to look, Lewis. True, people are gonna be able to hack your brain, dude. So you'll you'll be clicking around Damn. on a podcast. No, 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 I have a like hack. Bill brain. Gates is gonna be popping in on that brain of yours. But what's Gomez? Up? What's Gomez up to, dude? Bill Gates doesn't give a shit about my brain. Hey, he might, dude. You never know. Bill Gates, yeah, he needs powerful brains like yours, dude. He True. knows you read the forty-eight laws. Ten times. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't read it once. You read no, the I've same read book ten halfway, different times. You didn't finish times. it once. No, I did finish it three times. I finished it once and then I <laughs> audio booked it. Why would you do twice. that? What was it like the third time you finished 48 <laughs> Laws of Power? What would you think? Powerful. <laughs> you, never, had was, was, you had over 160 laws of power at that point, dude. <laughs> you stop. Dude, and, first of all, you're an idiot. It's 154 laws of power. How many About times 44. did you read it? 144 laws of power. Wait, how, how many? Hold on. Three. All right, there you go. Yeah. There you go. All right. Hey. This is a big win for you. I got one well, math problem wrong. It's very powerful of you to admit that. <laughs> True. Is that one of the rules? You're like, it's good to admit when you're wrong? No, that's no, the opposite. That sounds say, like. Ne- never admit you're wrong. Blame that on somebody else. <laughs> what? Blame Don't that, fuck. Blame that. Who wrote this? You got to know the author, dude. You've read it. You're lying about reading it. I just assumed it was Joe Rogan. (laughs) Saying a guy at a strip club is groping strippers. (laughs) That's what it is. Yeah, dude. You ask him. Well, that's not his fault. That's the half Puerto Rican part. Dude, groping, if you want to use the carnival thing, that's that's the equivalent of standing on the Gravitron. (laughs) <laughs> that's what you do and everyone else is like why is he doing that and you're like this is awesome <laughs> watch this oh, fuck. yeah everybody wishes they were this cool and everyone's like no dude it's fucking weird <laughs> he goes standing on the ground he goes upside down yeah the dude who went if upside anybody down anybody doesn't understand what that is dude you have no idea oh, how yeah, great Matt, of a Matt, fucking do me a favor screech screen grabbers Bring it up, dude. Google standing on the gravitron. Dude, dude, it's it's okay. some of the funniest pictures on earth. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so fucking, fucking funny. The perfect analogy for getting hands <laughs> on the trip. Oh, man. Like, what are dude. you doing? You're not supposed to do that. Hold it's on. dangerous and inappropriate. <laughs> I mean, a part of me is a part of me respects it. Part of me, <laughs> I'm like, kind of, but cool, you're a douche for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being good at Dance Dance Revolution. It's like, all right, I mean, you win, you win this round, bro. Oh fuck me! <laughs> it's like you win what this round. I'm gonna, go, <laughs> I'm gonna go to back. This. I'm gonna go back to my life, but I'll give you this one, <laughs> dude. I got you something nice right now. Oh, dude, fuck, hit me so with funny. a standing fucking gravity drop. <laughs> so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Notice everybody's away from him. Please go, please go for it. Oh no.
Audio. I do. I did. It's down. That's it's down three quarters of the way. Right, my bad. That's the that's the Mexican DJ <laughs> on the Gravitron, dude. <laughs> dude. This is my favorite. Those dudes fucking ever. slap. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. Oh fuck that picture, dude! Click this picture. He's a fucking man. <laughs> the guy next to him. Look at the guy next to him. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been a better picture of a guy. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Who it would have so thought standing on the Gravitron was this funny? It's so oh fucking God, funny. Dude. Oh. If you don't know, the, on the ride, the Gravitron just spins like really fast, and essentially you stick to a wall with like a, um, you know. The, and there's, it's oh, no, only keep going, Lewis. Keep trying to explain this. fucking kids on earth try to stand <laughs> up on the ground. <laughs> you see a lot of kids doing it. Like, oh, oh fuck, fuck, it's so funny. Oh, fuck, man. I love it. Damn. It's making me laugh. Turn that is yeah, you, right, dude. Fine, that dude. is so you. Fine. That's me. Oh, 100% that's you. That's 100% me. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. I'm going to fucking stand fuck up, up, dude. I'm going to handsy with strippers. Dude, I get, get fucking... You, I pay them to let me touch your titties, and sometimes I, <laughs> I know. I know you. Pay. I see you. Pay. Oh fuck, dude! I'm. T- oh yeah, you do. You do more. Show and tell. One time, I saw a lady. I'm not lying. They used to open up their butthole. Supporting them, you fucking. They used to let you throw dollars at their butthole. They would open up their their buttholes. First of all, were like they would open them and it would like they would go like that and it would be like it would be like a ripple effect. It was just beat dead truck stop buttholes, dude. And they uh. The one time I threw a lady a dollar and missed, and she went, oops, and like that, and like put it in her butthole. And I was like, Jesus Christ. True. It's, and she it's felt just, bad that I missed, and everyone laughed, and she grabbed it and went in her butt. And I was like, ah. Oh. Dude, Big J wow. had the funniest way to describe what a butthole looks like. It's exactly. maybe the funniest thing ever. It looks so like. When you spread in, it? <laughs> no, it looks like it's in warp speed. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when you spread it, it looks like it's in warp speed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> it is, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Oh, man. Oh, shit. You've been live this whole time. Yeah, what are you doing here? I don't know. What are you know. doing in New York? I don't know what I'm doing. The gayest city in the world, dude. Okay. Winter. I'll go to see you. what you wear to ski. I bet you the- I wore this. I wore gap, jeans. The gap dude. between his goggles and the and his helmet is so wide. What it's helmet, dude? Fuck, that's so you're much wearing a helmet? helmet? Yeah, you're a helmet dude, guy. You, what? you gotta wear one. Off. No, I don't wear a helmet. You should. You should do you that. Wear, I ski constantly. You wear, yeah, man. You wear blue oh, jeans. No. You wear blue jeans. <laughs> don't you dare wear a scarf. Remember that time you met at Home Depot? You said that. Those are your words. You tried to push the helmet on me also? Because yeah, you were like, what are your, what's your helmet look like? <laughs> Nobody wears a helmet, dork. You were the guy in football who looked through the, the bottom tier of the face mask. Oh, wow. Bike helmets, dude. Soder's actually made fun of me for having the perfect football helmet head. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the face mask. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you, you, that's my opener in Australia. I'm like, you know, it's general rule of thumb is the more expensive thing is, the better quality is. And with that in mind... The cocaine in Australia must be by far the best in the world. <laughs> I was in Brazil and there was Australians there. And like one of the dudes I was with, he was like, luckily he was like South American. So he went into the favela to buy Coke. No. And these Australian dudes were like so fucking happy. He came back and it was like Jesus coming back to you on Palm Sunday. Hey, Matt, I know you're into flair, so I got you a fucking geranium. Thank you, man. Whoa, yeah. dude. How'd you know? Yeah. No, don't, not right mic, now, man? Francis. <laughs> this is not Barstool, dude. Dude. This yeah. isn't fuck around time. Um, Francis is so rich. Just Francis just is just like, no, next. <laughs> Those fucking losers from that show, they could make <laughs> hella money being a porn star. <laughs> yeah, they could make <laughs> big losers. brothel chicks. Dude, they could sell- Mac. They're really <laughs> nice guys. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. It's such a lovely day. He's so happy. His would have been, you ever see the porn where it's like made for like sensuality? It's like couples porn? Yes. He would have made nice. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl asks if you've been with a hooker. It's like no. a weird thing to do. Really? Yeah, the girls ask that. Guys ask, have you ever fucked a black guy? Well, Both of you are kind of like, I hope it's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get turned on real quick. Yeah. They're taking everything, dude. Yeah. I was no. joking. Off menthol the cigarettes stuff. are gone? Menthol cigarettes are gone. <laughs> what about the crush? They can you still do the crush so you can make your own decision? 
That's a good point, dude. It should be like red pill, blue pill. Mm, yeah. yeah, they should do it on you. You get a warning, and they can crush if you want to crush. Yeah, and mm-hmm. if they catch you, that's a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. They catch you crushing. This is the one's a <laughs> clearly just another way to arrest black people. They're like, we're going to make <laughs> menthol cigarettes illegal. It's a little too easy. Little, this yeah. is the most obvious. Like, if you had to pick one. Menthol. If you like, make one thing illegal that just yeah. black people are going to get arrested for. Yeah. They're called Cadillacs in jail. Also, white trash. What? Oh yeah, they cross oh metal. yeah, oh yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I mean, dude, that's that's a secret of the universe. Yeah, yeah. Black white dudes and white trash kind of fuck with the same stuff. <laughs> they should I, just get along. Stop they should get along. And I kept that until I was about thirty. <laughs> I was like, yeah, cuts your mouth work. up, and then the tobacco Spider gets blast. in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you're retarded. I was like, what? <laughs> but I still dip like uh, Zin. It's like a nicotine pouch. Is it's that the pouch. snooze? I think I don't know. The toasted stuff from Sweden? No, between your gum and your lip. I just had on your top. dental surgery on this. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Other- I'm going to give it a rip. I yeah, like, rip it, I, I like France is nuts, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Especially they having to. the military be woke. They like just come out of like bombing a small yeah. village, and they're like, what are we doing? Black ladies? All right. They nice. used to properly use target words while white bombing trash. village. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They had the mm. best white trash ads. It was like, are you ready to climb a mountain and fight a fucking dragon? We do yeah. more. Yeah, and we every do more poor white guy was like, hell yeah. Middle Eastern studies, U.S. government. And you no, went to middle, did did government. they tell you who did 9-11 in college? It's bullshit. The secret no. safe, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> you edit that out, please. I, I said yes. I, I mean, I'll learn Arabic, but it was too... Can we pause this? And watch Kim pause it? I need, to, I need you guys to see this. Yes. You don't know how. He's Cardini. If you can't pause it, you're fired. Just keep playing it. Edit it. Well, just you're keep playing it and edit it. Just edit it. Yeah, just edit it out. Oh, yeah, timestamp. That good. Like, that good. Like, Do you remember symbols. any words? Barak Alaufik. You just made that up, dude. That was racist as hell. Yeah. Kleb. Now you're making That's a dog. What? Kleb. Okay. (laughs) Something like that. (laughs) My brother-in-law is an Arab. I fucking hate him. Oh, no. What do you mean? You ever see a drone? Um, I've seen a drone out and about. Great you start. fucking drunk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice sandwiches, you drunk piece of shit. <laughs> no, you guys are me. This is great. I'm, 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 we want some sandwiches. You sandwiches. think you need? I knew that was coming. You think you need another it. sandwich, dude? You want to talk body types? Huh? I'll destroy you in front of your lady Check. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to eviscerate you? He, are you he, a big he sandwich guy? He stopped doing stand up, but now he does sandwiches. <laughs> no, no, I've seen your cooking up. thing. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I thought you stopped. Huh? You told me you stopped. He did I did stop. stop. Did he stop? <laughs> what the fuck? This guy bumped me last week. Did he? Swear to God. He's right back to comedy. Did you really? You bumped Francis? You came back just to bump Francis. Yeah, he Francis. was working the line at Subway. So get out of my way, buddy. I'm here making salami sandwiches now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what happened? It's Cinco de Mayo, dude. It's very powerful. You would think of that? I did not think of that. I think about that every day. I think about it every day. I met God, and she's black. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, conservatives. <laughs> um, you know how to push buttons, dude. No. Bill. What? Don't lay off, man. What? Come on, man. Dude. Can't have fun? Dude. Yeah, you don't. Why does he keep touching you like that? He's touched me quite a bit. It's alpha moves. I don't know if it's alpha as much as it's beta is just reaching up to the true alpha. Like, <laughs> this little pup grabbing the big dogs, ah, you know, yeah, that, and the big yeah, dogs that. just lying. He's relaxing. But one of these days, <laughs> you're too old. <laughs> you're too old. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. What? All the fucking boomers that are still trying to get tough. It's like, dude, I will punch I you in the fucking hip and dude, knock who, you out. Who's trying to get just boomers in, like in a car. They like, give you the fingers like, dude, get out. Yeah, it's true. You'll have a heart attack before you reach me. True. My dad still thinks he's he's tough. He's about to fight somebody else. He side still of the road. thinks like we'll be watching anytime we all right. Well I try to bother him about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, anytime we're like watching a game or anything, I'll be like, Man, that guy would fuck you up. Yeah. And I'm like, Shane. <laughs> he wouldn't know what the hell hit him if I hit him. I'd be like, everybody on the court right now could beat your ass. <laughs> it was uh oh, he hates uh <laughs> such a funny he thing. hates Montrezl. Or, uh, Harrell? yeah, Montrezl Harrell. Is that, me. is that his real name? Montrezl. Harrell. Yeah. Uh, cause he called Doncic a white boy. He was like, so he oh, was that dude? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And my dad has not let that go. Never forgot. Him. And he's pretty pissed that Doc is the head coach of the Sixers now because he, he came on and was like, there's nothing racial about it. 
kind of is. <laughs> kind of is. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they he said sorry, and it was fine. But my dad hasn't let that go. And I keep telling him, I'm like, dude, Montrezl would fuck <laughs> you up, dude. Like, Just, watch how you talk about him. He's well, like, Shane, he wouldn't know what the hell. Is. I fuck it. Look how skinny he is. I'm like, dude, he's like seven foot and jacked. <laughs> he would literally kill all. They of all them. they all brag about fighting and shit. It's like, dude, all you guys are out of shape. You're fat yeah. as fuck by the time you're like 21, just gone off beer. Fighting uh, each Phil, other. Phil was jacked for a while. But Phil I'm saying now. His, now, now he's yeah. Now he would die. Now, like, if he gets scared, I get worried about him. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, he's going to have a heart attack shortly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's my one uncle approached me one day. I, we got into a feud, and, like, he got in my face. I was like, what uncle? Uncle Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got in my face. He tried to challenge you? He burned me with a, a hot power washer. But. So then I put the hose inside of an overseas container, backed my van up to it, and then he drug my van out. Yeah. And then I was just changing the tire on one of the trucks, and he came over. He's like, I'm tired of this owner's son shit you pull. I was like, dude, what? And he came up with my face. I was like, dude, I'll knock you out. Nothing's worse. <laughs> Nothing's worse than the boss's son. Well, it's funny because he, he was the boss's son. He was son. the ultimate boss's son. Oh, was he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, point, then, yeah. it was the battle of the boss's boss sons. Sons, yeah. dude. <laughs> uh, but at that, at that I moment, you know, I was like, though, I'll fucking kill you. You should watch out. You have that exact boomer energy. You're just going to get older. I respect everyone, dude. Yeah, but I don't you're fight. Be, I don't get in fights. Someday you're gonna be old, and someone's gonna be like, "I'll fuck you up," and you're gonna be like, "And then I'll reach." Yeah, the, I'll, right. <laughs> you you know? reach the final phase of boomers, where it's gun ownership, and it's like you won't, you won't. That is the final I'll shoot stage. You. True. Just you have a gun. Yeah. Which is the equalizer. Yeah, I agree. Fair. So then you're just threaten death. Yeah, to I'll who, kill you. Chow, that's true. You can't lose your honor. You have to true. threaten death upon anyone that would beat you up. Yeah, that's how honor honor honors usually you, you take it from somebody else. So, yeah. You going to get a permit to carry? I've been thinking about it, but you can no, in New York, think. right? New York's very difficult. Yeah, to get that done. That fucking pussy Cuomo. He yeah, we need to have talks about the professionalism in this environment. What's going on? It's, with the guys? it's insane, man. All that matters is my nephew has this. True. That rules. This True. is real. This thing this He thing doesn't have nephew. fucking social media. Nah. He has that. I mean, you could do that all day. The Wild Wild West. Japan started making VCRs. Uh, I knew he couldn't resist. <laughs> I knew he couldn't resist. He heard the chatter still. Doing a proper goodbye. Later. You're out of here? Yeah. Um, I'm going to need probably eight or ten. You need eight to ten tickets. On Thursday night. Okay. Believe me, there's seats all over the place. <laughs> 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 it's sold out. It's sold. Pittsburgh Improv. Sold out, baby. I told you guys. I told you guys. I told you guys. No, they won't. They did. When? They ticketed your car. We parked. I saw him parked the other way, so I parked the other way, and I said Phil's going to come out, and he's going to say, "Guys, just so you know, your car's facing the opposite direction. They're going to, they're going to ticket you. I've seen them ticket you." I'd love to see him touch my car. If, if those fucking dumb pigs come out, I'm going to push them. <laughs> Phil, this house, we believe in science. True. If I see blue lives around my car, Phil, I'm going to fucking go off. Fuck the blue lives. <laughs> Trump's a pussy. <laughs> Phil. Phil. They put the rumble strips? Phil. Trump's a pussy. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Oh. Told you. Told you oh, both that's things. so good. How how well do I know that man? That's so good. As soon as the red light comes on, he's he's got to be around the camera. Oh, yeah. he's a little gory hound, dude. But you know, <laughs> get on the track, baby. Get on the track. Damn. Here Ew. we go. Tim, don't show the world your dirty ass. Show the show the Watch world. Watch the end there. I think he might have some shit on the back. Yeah, I, I, his I, back. I saw I saw dried something over Tim there. Tim's been dropping vicious diarrhea. He's yeah. been sick. I showed I saw something clumped on the end. Tim's kinda... not afraid to go outside and munch a bird and come inside <laughs> and be sick for a fucking month. Dude. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm just being like, listen, man, you're black oh. as hell. <laughs> Oh, Timbo, oh, there's poop. Timbo, shit the rug. Yo, pan that, pan that, and get that shit. Timbo. Pan that and get that shit. Timbo, don't wipe your ass on the Timbo, carpet. Dude, what the fuck, dude? Guard dog, if you miss Timbo wiping his ass, we've got problems. He might do a Holy little victory shit, lap. Damn, dude. dude. This cat is a fucking... <laughs>
disgusting oh, cat. He just walks dude. away like it's nothing. Dude. Oh, he's going. Dude, get him. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tibble, <laughs> clean up your fucking act, dude. Unacceptable. <laughs> Shit on the floor. And what? <laughs> dude, my parents hate this fucking cat. Dude, I'm surprised they haven't got rid of it. This is all he does. That's crazy they keep it. Bro, he's a wild animal. Yeah, the full I see. He literally, he's not close to domesticated. I just <laughs> shit on he the tears off, <laughs> He tears up everything in this house. What the fuck? And then he goes out, they let him outside at night, and he just eats animals. My dad would kill his cat. Dog, 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 dog. <laughs> A lot of, everybody's very subdued and polite. Taking it easy. Just good people, you know. Mask, clean mask. Oh, I can look at me like I that. I just didn't appreciate that. <laughs> I apologize. You're right. I promised you no personal attacks. Yeah, you already personal attacked. That felt like a, a couple PA. times. Yeah, a few nah. times. Hey, dude. That was the first PA. Nah, true. That was the first PA. What was PA? the other one? Come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be a goofball. <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't goof once. I had to stare right at that wall when you're talking about beard and stuff like that. <laughs> because some guys can hide what they that they're actually retarded idiots with like a beard. True. Nowadays you can hide it with a beard. Help. True. A well. kind of ugly you are. It works well. Not you. You're handsome. You're hot. You're a handsome guy. <laughs> no, you have a nice beard. I hear you. You're a handsome guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying some of the listeners can hide behind a beard. You don't. But I don't appreciate some of your behavior this weekend. That I mean, dude, junk. Yeah. I mean, do I it, do it. Crack know. my phone. I chip my tooth. I'm an idiot. I get it. You're one of those do as I say, not as I do type No, guys. I do as I you do. You cracked your tooth? Yeah. What the hell were you doing that? What, what happened? I don't know. I think my necklace hit it. And when Jesus, I try to move away dude. from something real fast, you showed your ass. I didn't show my ass. You showed your fucking ass. Out of everyone there, I was okay. You got drunk and now your teeth are fucked up. You showed your ass. No, nah, your tooth's <laughs> fucked up. I What's that from? It's just from wear and tear, bro. <laughs> what what happened to your tooth? Grind my teeth, man. Oh, I didn't even notice it. Got TMJ. Thanks for playing. Same here. I personal like, that's, a PA. That's, a PA. that's a PA. That's a PA. That's a PA. That's a PA. Definitely PA. My jaw clicks all the time too. Yeah, dude, but like I grind my teeth down. I got to be stress. honest. I'm going to bill on this. I chipped a tooth on a, <laughs> on a glass, on a so glass this past summer. You see mine? Oh, yeah. Dang, we're like kind of the same. Right? Yeah, very similar. <laughs> Damn, it's kind of sick, honestly. That's pretty sick. I don't know how faithful dog girls are. They love their owners, dude. All right. <laughs> True. I mean, yeah. we'll see. Well, we'll she, see. Might, she might run away. Some dogs run away. Some dogs get out of the house, dude. Awfully bad. <laughs> Look, don't try to ruin my new relationship. I'm not trying to ruin anything. You definitely are, saying, dude. Maybe not in your best interest to carry on like this. Ah, dog girl, I would give him dog girl. Dog girl, Thank even you. just being friends too online. Yeah, and, we're just know, goofing online. Whoever goes to it goes to. And then if it just, just you know, if online. I happen to be in LA or wherever, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> what did that find? No, I think it was Kev. Ooh. What did Kev say? We were just, he saw me taking a picture of you when you were a young boy. Yeah. We got to talking. <laughs> okay. Conti uh, continue. He just uh, talked about how, like, the other guys had Victoria's Secrets, you had men's health. Men's health. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was just all. That's a PA. That's a PA. I that's didn't not, want to do it. A PA. That's a PA. Because I, I had the Victoria's Secret too, bro. <laughs> nah, I had one night, Paris, one night in Paris. One night in Paris bonus features. <laughs> right. had oh, that. Sick. Oh, I had the magazines, thanks to Matt. I got caught with sure. that. But at the same time, dude, you I'm stitch. a grown boy. True. I admire the male physique in a non-homosexual manner. <laughs> and I want to know how to build myself like those guys. What's True. wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. It was just a personal attack, dude. It was, it was just a PA. It was a, a shot. It was a bad shot, dude. And it paid off. You got a great body. Maybe if I had some mental health laying yeah. around, I wouldn't be, you know, where I'm at. Should you should have next day sent revelations. Page, on our last Patreon, <laughs> Spade said poetry's not gay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, you were saying you, you just like, PA me through no, a PA. You were like, "Was she fat?" And I said, "That was a PA." You were just asking him. No well, fat. he said she was pregnant. No fat broads, sure. bro. No <laughs> fat broads. Yeah. Ever? No. That's right. Never ever. Never ever. It's kind of gay. If you don't have sex with a girl that's fat, it's kind of gay. Yeah, it is slightly gay. Say what? Fat? Yeah. The last wrestle I remember was a guy that was <laughs> refusing to tap. Who <laughs> was getting choked out? And it's they enough. know the breaking point. I mean, the guy. There's, they're all. I would assume they would all refuse to tap. That's how yeah, the squad true. goes. Wow. You cannot tap, true. dude. If one of them came near me, I'd be like, dude, stop, stop, yeah, stop, stop. please, please, please. <laughs> Pull out my wallet, <laughs> yeah, yeah. please, dude. <laughs> Going back to the five on one, I'm telling you, I think it, it's, it is possible. I'm not underestimating a professional fighter. I'm saying us four on the street. Nate Diaz is walking towards us. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the We're problem. It's the fucking... real life. It's a real because it's it is like stop, 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 dude. dude. When we got done, me, Norman, and Ari got done with Rogan. We we went out that mm -hmm. night. We're eating, 
and I forget who asked him, like, who would win in a fight, all three of us versus you, and he, without even hesitating, he was like, me. He would fucking... All three? Me, Arya, Norman versus Rogies. Rogan would fucking slaughter us. All dude. three of you guys, though? Yes. What if you poked his Have eyeballs? Have seen him throw a kick? He's nasty, yes. That's dude, vicious. that kills one of us. True. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Who's... I forgot about kicks. I forgot about yeah, kicks. kicks. Dude, a leg kicks, kicks are coming kicks. out of nowhere. Yeah, that, that fucks up my whole <laughs> battle like, wait, plan. wait, my shin is broken. The second yeah, one of us would try fuck. to grab a leg. You're catching like a flying knee. Ah, I forgot about that. I forgot about the kicks. I'm yeah. thinking of just a guy like... And you're like, he punches two of you. Another guy like grabs his neck and just like punches you him. You can't in the grab head. their neck too. They're yeah. they're good at like figuring ah, that out. Shit, man. So how many guys a, do you think you would need? Ten? I think to get Rogan. Ten? No, we would need three more. Me, Six Ari, guys. and Normans. Six guys. Double us. We can take him. Ari's useless. Could you guys simulate? Ari's this totally useless. <laughs> Dude, you never know. He could be the last. Or he, he would be, be the useless. final guy. Norman, I would imagine, would be totally useless. <laughs> yeah. After today's experience, I'm useless. Nah, dude, you're going to be. three useless bros. You, you the only tell. move I have is to slowly walk towards someone. True. That's going to result in Michael the Myers? hardest fucking <laughs> roundhouse to the body. <laughs> I love I love the idea of like <laughs> this melee against Joe Rogan happening and Shane sees a box and he's like, hang on guys, watch this steps up on it oh. and then Rogan kicks it out from under <laughs> Dude, my box steps are out of this world. What if you jumped what if one of you jumped off of something? Do you think that'd improve the chances? No. If like one of you jumped off of a trash can, <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch the kicks. Okay, two and then guys. watch me and Ari and Norman do anything. I know his kicks are vicious. He, he dude, would I, slaughter us. Those back, I've, I've that back kick is burnt in my brain on yeah, YouTube. The and sound of it, yeah. and he's done combat sports his know, whole fucking life. I know. Mm -hmm. how, do you need to ask, how many bath. guys you think realistically? How many guys you think he could take? Depends who, obviously. True. Me, Ari, and Norman are non-trained fighters. A weak trio. Non-trained fighters. <laughs> Trade fighters. <laughs> I mean, Frank might be able to handle me. Are you? <laughs> no. Some guys pay for first class. Some guys earn it. The wow, wow, Wes. Uh, actually, this is good. You're gonna like this. On the flight back, I sat yeah. next, sat next to a severely autistic man. What? Yeah, he was wild. He's the Arabic. Yeah. Autistic man. That was like, as he was coming down the aisle, he was like, I, I heard him yell. He's like, somebody's in my seat. I was like, holy yes. shit, who is this? I, it was so loud I could hear it over my music. And he was at the front of the plane, took it out to watch him. I was the guy in the seat. And he was like, um, excuse me, you're in seat B. I am in seat B. And I was like, I think it's, uh, and the guy in front of me was like, no, that's B. And I was like, all right. I was like, do you want to just sit there? And he's like, I can't, my luggage. I was like, all right, I'll move. <laughs> I'll move. It's not a big deal. And uh, I sat there the whole flight, dude, this guy was screaming. What? He got a sandwich. He was like, it's frozen. And the and the stewardess was like, it can't be frozen. I know it's not frozen. He's oh like, my, my sandwich is frozen. And she was like, everybody else ate their sandwich and it wasn't a big deal. He's like, maybe they ate frozen sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. He's an absolute hero. He was a hero, but he was having fun. He was oh excited. My Dude, God. he spent 45 minutes easily just up in the front with the stewardesses talking about planes and shit. Jesus Christ. And then he came back and sat next to me and turned on his fucking light. And it was it was first class, dude. You know me. You know me Obviously. and the autistic Obviously. dudes fly first. He had a spotlight on his fucking laptop for no reason. I was fuming. Fuck, dude. And then he was screaming, dude. Screaming the whole flight. Dude, I saw the ultimate fat battle on a flight not too long ago. Whoa. Like, this lady was questionably should have paid an extra ticket in front of this other guy who was also a, a large dude. Yes. <laughs> you witnessed the battle I had that one time. Dude, this was, yes. no, this was another level. He's geared up. A lady goes to try to put her seat back, and he just goes... So that Yo. might have been what the braces were for. Hits her with the fucking power fists. And dude, dude. This, this lady's rocking him, trying yes. to get back. Dude, he he was like the whole entire flight. It was a two and a half hour flight. He had one hand. He'd put his knee up. He would constantly switch. And he'd read a book with his other hand. And she would every now and again go like this. And he would just go. And his <laughs> oh, my God. Double fist. Or, dude, it was the best shit I've ever seen. I've, I, I have engaged in this battle. Dude. Not that hard, though. <laughs> dude, I'll he fucking was, put a knee as hard as I can into the seat. He held it, dude. Occasionally. She just never to give got him a back. Fucking... She never reclined. He held the wall. That's the whole, incredible. The whole flight, dude. And he would just go reading a book, switch hands, and then he would kind of loosen up and it would start to come back. And he would just go, bam. <laughs> oh, dude. Held it the whole time. This That's exciting a big to watch. Dog, dude. That's fun to watch. It, well, dude, he was right next to us. A big dog, a big female dog like that, she would not like that. Oh, dude, she was furious. They hate they hate any inconvenience. Big she, fat She probably one. couldn't breathe. 
she probably, she probably had to breathe. She she had to recline hunched, to breathe. Yeah, yeah, hunched forward. Yeah, dude. That's right on your diaphragm. <laughs> and then a bro holding the line, dude. No chance. It was so fucking Perfect funny. pass protect, by the way. Oh, it was insane. That's no lineman. It was insane, dude. She never, she never broke. She, she never broke ninety degrees. <laughs> he wouldn't give her an inch. That's what like it's he about. Give, they did come it's back. The line of scrimmage. <laughs> She was a nose guard. You saw a nose tackle versus a fucking classic tackle. Dude. Wouldn't stop. One on one. He was he was even like holding his own next to the person next to him. He was like keeping airspace to the right, making sure he didn't get invaded yes. to the armrest. He was fighting on two fronts. Yeah, he's like he was on the northern. He was, <laughs> he was on the northern and the eastern front. Yes, fighting two battles simultaneously. It's crazy. While reading a book, he was fighting leg space to this way, and then being like, it was unbelievable. I mean, I respect it. I get on there and I, I that's all I think about. Some dude, some guys pay for first class, some guys earn it. True. Guys, true. Guys true. Earn first, class. first class isn't given, dude. It's earned. It's earned. And dude. that guy earns it. He turned coach into comfort plus, dude. <laughs> yeah, really? He's, he's like, I want just comfort plus, a hundred bucks. I got that. Still I'll like, save a hundred bucks and just <laughs> create space, dude. Dog, dog, dog. Dog, 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 dog. Funny that people go back to cigarettes. I think it's more of a getting into in your 30s thing now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think so too. Why That's when I started doing coke. 30s. Once I hit my 30s, I was like, it's time for me to invest in stride. doing cocaine. You're at least you're more mature. Wait until my heart's mature. <laughs> yeah, get your heart nice get my mature. Get very overweight, and then it's like, all right, now it's time. Fucking stinks. <laughs> Takes a hold of girls hard, too. Oh, girls. man. Girls yeah, get does. rocked by cocaine. Okay. Dude, it, it's everything they need. It's perfect. It really They're like, is. I don't eat anything. They don't eat it. I've, I've seen girls like go gray in complexion from coke. They get beezed up. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Girls, first of all, love coke. Adderall is girls. Now that's, they're all That's added their, up. like... They all went back to like 1950s when we used to give housewives like remember that we used to give Dude, housewives like Adderall volume is and design, fucking it's meth. It's perfect for ladies. They just clean and don't eat. They can get a mean though. They, you just they get a get, perfect, and then they get a little nasty. They get dude. cranky, dude. They run the out of their running. Adderall, and then they they stop cleaning and they start munching and they sit there, dude. <laughs> start munching. <laughs> they start fucking munching and they start yapping at you. Yeah, I like when people try to hide their drugs. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Like my sister was trying to hide that she was on heroin. <laughs> so funny. Wow. Yeah, that's a tough she one. She was just like. That's, my friend would do, oh, I think I, at the time, I think it was heroin, but he would like have one beer and be like, yeah, it's he'd be like, dude, I'm just tired, man. Yeah. I'm like, nah. Dude, that that cruise light took me down. <laughs> that's, that's when we, that's when we realized my sister was doing it. Cause she, it was at a Christmas party and she had like two glasses of wine. Yeah. And then we went to sheets and when we were driving, my sister, my other sister was driving, and came up to a red light and my sister was sitting shotgun and it nodded off. Just smacked her head on the dash. Oh. And we were like, what? She's like, I'm just tired from the wine. That'd be nice for the Christmas party. Imagine like a nice sweater. Holy fuck, dude. Cookies Christmas lights just sitting there with all your family. You're on heroin. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I give her credit. I mean, she stopped doing it. So yeah, that's just, that's a good run. It's pro-meth. It's pro-meth. I was, I was slanging that syrup. Purple drink. No, so it, it was, was prescription. sipping nice. I was sipping syrup. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't DXM. <laughs> I wasn't robo-tripping. This was syrup. This was pancakes and syrup. I had, really? the, motherfucking yeah. pill. I had the motherfucking pills. I had the motherfucking syrup. I was a you ever do any of those drugs? Uh, did the, what, uh, the oxys I probably did a lot of, and I didn't Jesus. like. Probably <laughs> did. What the fuck? Man? I probably I was being did. a gentleman eating Percocets. Oxys straight are pink, up, though. and I got them from. I probably uh, did a lot of oxys. <laughs> I I had a probably. But I was kind of liking them, but I was tweaking. I remember I one time. I, was, <laughs> I don't like them now, though. I think people love them. Dude, I used to, I was, at that one point, I was, I did like three days in a row. I would get up in the middle of the night and then I'll be kind of still tweaking on them. And then I would go to my computer. I go, I got to send this email to the guy. You know, they're going to get me and blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, I got to, got to shoot this off before I get to back to bed. And I go, I can't find this guy's contact. And then I would kind of be like, what contact? What guy? <laughs> Who am I sending Maybe they were giving you oxy no. I go, I don't even have a job. No. When the, you know, the 20-year-old has got the drug problem is a big eye roll for me. Teens. There's a lot like, of comics that's that. They oh go, my I've, God. Been off, I've been off uh, alcohol. I'm 30 years sober. Yeah. I'm 50. You go, so you <laughs> yeah. drank a few times when you are yeah. 20 and you were a hassle. I saw a couple comics. <laughs> I saw a couple comics battle a craft beer addiction. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I'm an alcoholic. I'm like, bro, I've only ever seen you drink like IPAs. <laughs> yeah. You're not an alcoholic. Sorry. Yeah, I was 
my addiction, dude, to fucking. I might have to check into rehab for Bud Lights. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to fucking Guinness. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, you got to check into Fat Camp if you're getting too into the, the IPAs. Yeah, the IPAs <laughs> will get you. That happened, dude, to the whole alt scene. They, the alt scene. <laughs> you grow all a got beard, fat yeah. as shit. That's what happened. Yeah, they got craft beers, dude. They did. They, they, they got hit with the IPAs. And then now they all have beards and, they were and sweaters. Yeah, you get wide hips and a soft dick, dude. They got dude. jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Very jolly alt scene. Stop liking your, your girlfriend doesn't look as pretty i think ipas make you kind of gay definitely i think you get like wide hips or you start producing estrogen your dick stops working you're like why am i hanging out why do i live with my girlfriend yeah just hang out with my alt buddies and dude. Then you just pretend girls are funny <laughs> for 15 years you're like i think she's hilarious <laughs> fuck you and you go what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> all right i got me off birthday <laughs> You wake up to your Patreon, so you're like, Jesus Christ. That dude. is what happened, dude. Did I subscribe to the Call Her Daddy offshoots? The craft Trump beers Trump, hit. Trump let him Trump, through. Trump broke all of them, and they're all <laughs> fat bitches, dude, just sitting there like, this is not okay. I got something that'll uh, ease your tensions. Here, have yeah. a sip. There's oh, some yeah. IPAs, dude. The local communist lodge. Dude, that fucking destroyed <laughs> communism. <laughs> High ABVs. Just, like, Man, just sitting on perks. And, and we're off, boys. <laughs> trying so hard to move your arms to get to the CP. Yeah. <laughs> just like, well, uh, gotta go to rehab. Yeah. Really? You reset the whole clock. Yeah, they'll get kicked out. If you overdose, off the lease, immediate eviction. <laughs> they don't fuck around. Really? Yeah. <laughs> off the fucking. That seems fucking. That's where all the homeless people are from. That's a good way to try to get your sp your spouse out. You know, <laughs> what you I mean? gotta jump right out. Oh yeah, Just poison her with heroin. Poison her with heroin. I'm like, again, I have no interest in murdering my spouse, but that would be. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah. Imagine poisoning your husband, dude. Dude, back in the day, you Girls, could probably make that's what ladies serial killers do. They're always poisoning people. No, they never get caught. They poison them and then take care of them. <laughs> they like make them sick for years. Yeah. Just get Gaslight slowly them. poisoned by your wife. Yeah, but she's probably so. To you. She's probably so mean to you though. She's probably like, you never do anything right. <laughs> yeah. And you're sitting there like, fuck. Yeah. Why does my stomach she's feel putting like arsenic in my fucking food? Yeah, I would figure it out. I would get Ow. one dose of mercury, and I'd be like, bitch, what the fuck? Yeah, I would you would right away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd just be like, Ugh. once you pulled a blanket over me, I'd be like, what the fuck's going on? You're up on? to something, lady. <laughs> Having a Munchausen mom would stink. Munchausen by proxy or whatever. Yeah. They leave you when they like, like, no, you're sick. And they make you like lay around all day inside. And you're like, my mom said I can't come out. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's just being like, he's sick. He, that's such a fucking perverse pleasure. Yeah. I might munch out my fucking girlfriend. You should. Be like, you're sick, babe. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> you should just give her laxatives constantly. <laughs> and just be like, babe, it's not safe for you. Stay in here. We're safe. <laughs> just the porcelain can't handle it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Convince a chick she has like total Crohn's. Just be like, babe, I love you for who you are. <laughs> She's like, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> You're a clinical it? fart machine. I don't know what to do. <laughs> It'd be a good way to break up with a girl. You can't start dosing her with laxatives and be like, listen, these dumps are out of control. <laughs> I'm going home. I don't even know who you are anymore. You used to never shit like this. <laughs> now you shit all the time. Yeah, but they girls would hold, they'd hold it in though. They would. They'd hold it in in the name of love. <laughs> Babe, what the fuck? We talked about this. You got to stop shitting constantly. <laughs> Babe, it's Thanksgiving. My whole family's out here. What the hell? <laughs> Yesterday I did this. I could promise me right now. Swear to me on everything. You didn't fart in there. And she's sitting there like, I didn't. <laughs> dude, you know what gets them fired up too? I was I was sitting there yesterday cleaning out. I was cleaning out my closet, dude. I, I was so sorry to my mama, dude. I had to clean out my closet. Then everything she would, she would like get, she's like, I'm going to give this to Goodwill. And I just go. You're a good girl. That's <laughs> <laughs> so mad. You fucking stop. I'm like, yo, you're a good girl, man. You're she can't so she can't stop taking me seriously. <laughs> and I can't I can't be around someone that takes me that serious. So like no matter I'll be like, did you put the fucking cups away? She's like, yes. <laughs> I guess the laundry is just doing itself today, huh? <laughs> Dude, I'll say shit like that to her, and she'll be like, "Well, I'm trying." What do you think about uh, Frank Sinatra? Like him, love him, love think him. He's overrated. Love really? Him. First concert I ever saw was Frank Sinatra. Really? Big I have fan. I have a non popular take on Frank Sinatra. Glorified karaoke singer. That's, what, I'm, that's what I think. Wops love what? him. You gotta watch out. What is Glorified, that based in? He just. This just is the way I hear. It. I could do. I could literally do all of his songs. Yeah, probably this is, better. No, this is what. 
I've heard this opinion before, <laughs> and I want to I want to congratulate you for being on the intelligence level of uh, Big J Okerson, <laughs> who's the other person that expressed this to me. That crooning was easy, and anybody could do it. Dude, have yes. you ever been to an Italian wedding? Every Italian dad croons at their daughter's wedding. You you they true or false? They croon to you say goodbye. False? They say they know the baby the baby girl's I will, gonna. Get I will tell you this. She's gonna get plugged tonight, so I gotta sing. It's like that take on that take on. I would croon if a guy picked up if right. a guy came to my house to pick up one of my sisters to go on a date i would croon i was younger i was six years younger but i would still croon that's funny. Go, tonight is the night that's funny you're gonna finger my sister did she get mad oh they'd get mad especially hey. the black ones <laughs> yeah me and my dad would croon so <laughs> we saw a black guy come to pick up our sister or, you know <laughs> That's so no funny. Don't call the cops on that Denali. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a Denali in this town. That's so Got funny. Got the neighbors talking. Uh, Dude, I'll say this, too. I thought Elvis sucked forever. And then I saw that last, his fat fucking it's fat amazing. singing. It's amazing. Have you fat seen Elvis? fat singing? I've never seen yeah, it, it's no. amazing. Dude, we might need to pause this. You can Watch see him fat, fat Elvis. I want to see fat Elvis. Dude, that it's thing. unbelievably good. What's the song yeah. he sings? That's his... That Unchained Melody thing? Unchained Melody. At the end of the yeah, movie, yeah, I was crying beautiful. my fucking eyes out. Oh, you watched the whole movie? I watched it with my parents. I had to hide that I was crying the whole time. <laughs> That movie sucked the dick, dude. Awesome. That movie was awesome. So what do you do you think what do you think is better, Frank Sinatra or Enya? I can't speak to Enya. I don't know anything. Enya's about an Irish music. That's real Irish no, musician. No, I know who she is. I just real don't know. She's literally worth more than Chris Martin from Coldplay. Okay. She lives in a castle next to Bono. Okay. That's feeling in that movie. Frank I've never felt I listen to Frank Sinatra, I don't feel anything, man. I listen to you. What the hell is well, this old you, fucking but, dumbass rattling on about? He's an old dumb wop, dude. And also, Enya is ethereal, dude. Enya is so good. Dude. Enya I cried at at the end of Enya. That was beautiful. No, you didn't. <laughs> Shut dude, up. Dude, she lives. She's one of the most. She's one of the richest uh, UK recording that, mu that must mean she's good. I mean, dude, if she's she never tour. She doesn't tour at all. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't tour at all. Why do you know so much about Enya, you fucking queef? She's so good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Point the rose. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, Point the rose. Just, I, you can go pee pee on the table. I like managing water in the shower. Let it True. run down my arm and I point it at things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sick move. <laughs> and I divert it. Water. To anybody out there that wants to try to heckle me, Dude. you're getting hit with that. Who's the Who's the Marvel guy that you like? Doctor. Oh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, I want you to. <laughs> if someone starts heckling you, just hit him with like a. <laughs> Dude, sending a, a fireball, someone who's heckling you is the best. Yeah, like, get to the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if you spotted a guy kind of leaning on his chair and hit him. With that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I might set up a plant and you start putting YouTube videos out about Hadouking. <laughs> you yeah. should get. How much do you think it would cost to have. Security, like your own security at a comedy club, who would like fucking like scared, scre like jack people up, screaming people's faces, yeah, like fuck them up. Holy fuck, that'd be awesome. It'd be a couple. It'd be a few hunch. I could give a guy fifty bucks at most clubs. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, dude, motherfuck this, dude. Yeah, like true. if somebody talks, get in their face and be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll fuck your wife. I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> Maybe a huger and like fifty bucks. <laughs> give him an Adderall. <laughs> Give him a fucking huge. Give him an Adderall and be like, dude, go wild on everybody. hundred dollars and fucking thirty milligrams of Adderall <laughs> to keep this thing totally contained. I wonder how much it would cost to maybe rig up some type of pulley system. So if you did hit someone with a Hadouken, they flew to the back of the room, you know, what I mean? or elevate, levitated, and you force hold them. <laughs> That's what this. I thought. Shut the fuck, dude. Up. That would be so sick. <laughs> you should go to helium or wherever else. And, and come down like from like nine <laughs> feet from the ceiling on a cable because <laughs> <laughs> you can rig yourself up like True. if they start getting you mad you start levitating <laughs> if you if you were all black and they put you up in the ceiling and after the feature like the hose comes back out <laughs> you just slowly descend from seven feet <laughs> you've been there the whole time you've been up <laughs> You could do this, dude. <laughs> How dedicated are you? Be, I'd be so happy. What <laughs> would be so funny is if they noticed me during the <laughs> during the feature set, just on the roof, like a bat, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to trick out the lighting so you can't be <laughs> descend slowly.
<laughs> a true, a true vampiric entrance, dude. <laughs> dude, that'd be so sick if you just jumped and just fucking levitated and came down and never acknowledged it. <laughs> <laughs> just back to the show. Would you guys rather sixty nine your dad or get shot in the head? <laughs> Bam. Fuck. Now man. that's a show. I want to get into showmanship, dude. You are a bit of a showman. You played the a played little, the flute. I'm I'm t- I'm tipping my toes in the water. Yes. I Pied Piper myself out yeah. on stage. I that's actually cool. was just talking to Matt or Chris about this. I, I'm getting too much into showmanship. What are you talking about? How, how's it half impossible? my set? There's not even material. I'm just up there like, ah, have you guys heard of this? Have you thought of this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? This next hour, you should go pure physical comedy, big energy, act outs. Demand a lot from the crowd. Yeah. I just want to demand more. I need the crowd to give me more, dude. Yeah. Dude, if you combine pulley and flute, <laughs> you start playing and elevated. 